minutes to save you thousands. Call now. 800-375-1158. That's <laughs> Call for your free debt resolution information now. 800-375-1158. 800-375-1158. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health Specialist will test your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-277-8599. That's 916-277-8599. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Individual rates, coverage offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to terms and conditions. Not available in all areas. Actual by customer. As a small business, we're always looking for ways that we can offer the quality product and get some cost savings. Meet Michelle. J.J. Fister Distilling Company, a small business in California. When looking for workers' comp coverage tailored to the company's needs, she discovered Pie Insurance. We heard about Pie Insurance being your first small business, gave Pie a call, and ended up switching. Is your small business overpaying for workers' comp insurance? See how much you can save at PiePie.com. savings you deserve. What are you waiting for? Ask your agent for Pi or get a quote in three minutes at trypie.com. That's T-R-Y-P-I-E dot com. KFBK Sacramento. KFBK FL. All time for news, traffic, and weather. KFBK Sacramento's News Radio. 93.1 FM. 1530 AM. Time now is 8 o'clock straight up. Good morning. I'm Sam Shane. Christina Minota, people in Sacramento are seeing a bit of snow off and on as the cold storm moves through. We'll get to those stor- that story and more, I should say, straight ahead. Let's get out to the road right now and check in with Boyd and Bella. Right now, traffic getting out of Sacramento, southbound 99, starting just after 12th Avenue, all the way down to 47th Avenue. After that, it clears out really nicely down towards Elk Grove. Northbound 99, slow and go from Mac Road up to Fruit Ridge. Traffic on the 10 every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons, Roy and Bella. ABG News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Cloudy starts of the day will give way to some steady rain showers this afternoon into tonight. Starting off with highs around 50 to 54, low tonight, 38 to 42. I'm Matthew Weathers, meteorologist Jeff Nordine, RJFB, Sacramento News Radio. 36 degrees in Sacramento. Weather alert on KFBC News Radio. Winter storm is beginning to roll into Northern California this morning. Courtney Carpenter with the National Weather Service in Sacramento. The gusty winds and isolated thunderstorms are forecast for this afternoon and into Friday. We are expecting showers today through early Thursday.
including the CARE Act, starting this year in eight counties and statewide next year. Governor Gavin Newsom says, along with treatment and supportive services, access to a safe and reliable place to live is a basic necessity. I'm Dina Kodiak. Assemblymember Kevin McCarty has again introduced legislation requiring a child to be at least 12 years old to play tackle football to protect from brain injury. I'm not an anti-football guy. I, I even played used tackle football and flag football when I was a kid. But, you know, the more and more research that we see, it just, you know, begs the question, does it make sense for our youngest kids to be banging their heads around us? The Steve Bamiano, who co-founded the California Youth Football Alliance, says laws are already in place. We're looking at it from this standpoint of, here we are five years later, and there's nothing new in the science or anywhere that says we should be banning youth football five years later when you originally introduced this. New legislation is continuing to work its way through the California Assembly.
25 basis points. You know, some are saying they need to go to 50, and it could last for the next two or three or four meetings, potentially. Right. So, we're going to be up in there, you know, 9, 10%, like we were at some time. It's hard to know, right, where the end game is. 808 is the time, by the way. It's time for your top global and national stories on KSBK News Radio. We are live everywhere on the IR Radio app. From ABC News, I'm Derek Dennis across the country. Winter weather dropping snow, ice, and rain from California to Maine. Minneapolis getting buried in snow, and in Michigan, a firefighter killed by down power lines. Please uh, watch your surroundings. Please stay away from down wires. Matt Paul of Detroit DTE Energy, more than 900,000 power outs mostly in the Great Lakes region, and some 750 flight cancellations nationwide. The NTSB releasing its preliminary report on what caused the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Investigators appear to be focused on a wheel bearing on one of the cars potentially overheating. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is pushing a package of rail safety reforms and vowing to hold the railroad accountable for any safety violations that may have led to that accident. ABC's Alex Perche Buttigieg toured the crash site this morning. A new update from South Carolina in the trial of former lawyer Alex Murdoch, charged in the killing of his wife and son. And careful Murdoch is taking the witness stand in his own defense is seen as widely risky. The strategy whether or not it is smart enough to go into this case where you have another case in the financial crisis where he could incriminate himself, or even worse, he would probably plead the fifth and look even more incriminating to this jury, and that could lead to a guilty verdict here. ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer. A community in mourning in and around Orlando, a shooting rampage, killing a woman, a TV reporter who was covering it, along with a nine-year-old girl, all in the same day. And it's already say one suspect, 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses, is responsible. When deputies uh, located him and arrested him, he was armed with a handgun, which we believe um, will link him to these cases as well. Orange County Sheriff John Mina, the suspect is due in court this afternoon. Tonight marks exactly one year since Russia started its deadly invasion of Ukraine. Still, the fighting continues. Airstrikes overnight in Kiev. You're listening to ABC News. 810 is the time. Time for traffic. Here's Roy Lamello. And getting you updated on chain controls up at the Sierra on Highway 50. Chains are required between Placerville Myers in both directions. Also on I-80, chains required between Baxter and the Nevada State Line. If you're traveling on Highway 20, uh, looks like you're going to need those chains between Nevada City and the junction with I-80. A little closer to home, we're looking at the Roseville area, southbound 65. It's a slow go traffic between Blue Oaks Boulevard and Pleasant Grove Boulevard. Traffic still recovering from an earlier accident in the Midtown area. A westbound 50 had an earlier crash near 15th Street. It's been cleared off the roadway and traffic just a little sluggish as you're approaching the Midtown area. But before this, as you're in the Lowerby area, Lowerby area, area uh, looks like westbound 50 stop and go from Bradshaw Road to about Watt Avenue. Then continues just a little below the limit all the way up to Stockton Boulevard. Still got that slow go traffic going southbound on 99 as you're leaving west, uh, as you're leaving Sacramento. So starting before Fruitridge Road, but it isn't ease up till you get to after Florin Road. After that, no delays down towards Elf Grove. Uh, southbound 5 had an earlier uh, accident right near Del Paso Road. Looks like that's been cleared off the roadway, but traffic still remains stop and go from the merge with 99 North down towards Arena Boulevard. Traffic on the 10s every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons. Roy Lamilla, KBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Body rain today in the valley. We're looking at snow already falling in the high country. and There will be snow in the foothills today and well into tomorrow. And that is a look at your two-day forecast. Okay, time now for news from your neighborhood. So the story's coming out of Times Herald. Mare Island Technology Academy is holding an open house and student showcase today from 4 to 7 p.m. Community members are invited to experience how MICA students are thriving and finding success in meeting the challenges of a rapidly changing technological world. Okay, I quickly want to get to this uh, audio clip from Dr. Drew Pinsky, Hi. radio show host, Southern California, talking about the homeless crisis in California. He says it's getting worse. Here's what he said on the Brian Kilmeade show. It's so bizarre. You don't know how bad it is in California. You can't imagine. It's, it's I lived there for four years. There was some homeless. But I hear it's out of control. Oh, it's, it's, uh, you've never seen anything like it. And, and by the way, these are people that could be treated easily. I know how to treat this. This is what drives me so crazy about it. This is a population that I used to dealt with for 30 drugs, years. Drugs and, and major serious mental illness. No problem to treat these people. And many of them return them to a flourishing life. But you let them go too far, they will die and they will be irretrievable. And there we, we go, every year we go up by another person per day dying on our streets. 
Now we're like at seven, eight per day dying. And when the meth deaths kick in, it's, you're going to see an exponential increase in deaths on the street. What do you mean? Meth, you know, fentanyl, everyone understands that you get exposed to fentanyl, eventually you're going to die. It's just opioid addiction is a progressive illness that ends in death. And particularly with fentanyl now, you can't judge what you're getting. You overdose in, a pro, in, in you know, in accidentally, you die. Uh, that's the, the naturalist of opioid addiction. But meth addiction is different. You can go for long periods of time with meth, and then late in the game, you start getting medical problems and die suddenly. You need that card. Oh, my goodness, yes. Absolutely. So he uh, clearly thinks that things are getting worse on the streets of uh, California. I'm mm. almost crisis. Erin Rial is going to be joining us in about uh, three minutes. Yeah, she really so. talks all things money, so we'll check in. From Roosevelt to golf. Things that I need to know. Everything about local news. Breaking news. Traffic. Slow traffic is at start and weather. With in-depth reporting and insights of the most important news story. We'll continue our coverage of AFBK, Sacramento's News Radio. Homeowners Robert and Tina Azevedo for Hall's Window Center. So we first used Hall's about 10 years ago. It was absolutely a no-brainer when we moved into this home to go ahead and use Hall's once again because we had such a great experience with us. Take it from me, Kitty O'Neill, get on Hall's appointment calendar today. Purchase now and enjoy $150 off per window and $500 off per patio door. The results have been fantastic. Schedule your appointment at hallswindowcenter.com today. The fresh dish at Raylene's in Bel Air is better because their seafood is 100% sustainably sourced. That's better for me and better for the environment. And they always have great deals on a wide selection of wild caught and farm raised fish and shellfish. Everything from shrimp and cold water lobster tails to salmon, steelhead trout, swordfish, and more. Best of all, Raylene's in Bel Air saved me time with custom cuts and cooking advice. And they'll even season my fish for free. I'm reeling in deals on the freshest catches only at Raylene's in Bel Air. Do you find yourself stuff in a timeshare, get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Doug McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, sees the largest timeshare company in federal court and has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now to the timeshare cancellation guide is absolutely free. Call 800-738-9900. That's 800-738-9900. By government.com. Have you heard? A recent stash of 1904 Morgan silver dollar coins has been found. These gorgeous 1904 old silver dollar coins are as bright and shiny as the day they were struck. This is a key date for silver dollar collectors, and only a limited quantity are available. Coin experts are calling this an amazing opportunity for anyone interested in silver coins. Just call government at 1 800 563 6468, and you are guaranteed a mint condition 1904 old Morgan silver dollar featuring the iconic old mint mark of the New Orleans Mint. The Final year of production. But with limited quantity, you must call now. These 1904 O silver coins are still in uncirculated condition. That is 117 years of history you can hold in your hand. To learn more, call 1 800 563 6468. Call now and you receive a free American Coin Collector's Bonus Package. A $25 value free with every order. Call 1 800 563 6468 now to secure your 1904 O Morgan Silver Dollars before they sell out. That's 1 800 563 6468. Want to save money on your high electric bills with solar? Starting in April, PG&E will drastically reduce solar credits and increase utility rates. Thankfully, there's still time to lock in your savings under the current policy and be grandfathered in for 20 years. We will reserve your spot at no cost. Visit SolarList.org to reserve your increased solar savings before April 7th. Reserve your spot now at no obligation to get installed later and free cancellation if we are unable to secure your NEM 2.0 spot.